What's up guys? We just made it here to Chicago or Rosemont, Illinois. This is the same venue that the 2023 National was held at. So we are here for the Chicago Sport Car Spectacular. It's Friday right now. So technically it's day one. Let's see how it goes. 10 a.m. right now. I don't really know what the schedule is like, but usually on Fridays they don't start till like 12 or 1. So let's go check it out. We're staying at the Crown Plaza here, and literally right across the street is the Donald Stephan Convention Center. There's a whole bunch of hotels around here. There's some that are connected to the Convention Center, but they are a little bit more expensive. Uh, I actually booked the wrong hotel. I booked like two miles from here. So it it was kind of bad, but luckily I did it on the hotel.com app, not sponsor guys. And I don't know why they usually don't give you refunds, but this time they let me cancel the same day and got a full refund. So that was very cool, but I am about to jaywalk now, so. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I may or may not have jaywalked. I don't know. No proof, so can't say anything, right? But yeah, it's, it looks like a nice day, right? The sky is blue, very nice, but it's freezing. I don't know if you can see my breath, but it's kind of cold. Um, where I live right now in Tennessee, it's not that cold. It's probably like. 60s, 70s in the morning over here is probably like, I don't know, my breath is freezing, like, it's fogging it up, so I would think it's like in the 30s, maybe the low 20s, I don't know, but yeah, it's kind of cold, luckily, we're only across the street, so we can get in the convention center real quick, real quick, so let's go check it out. Do you know what time it is? Let's get fired up! like they are having some type of specials here if you show your badge you get special promotions from these restaurants cool we might take advantage of this getting a throwback feeling here going up the escalator here botanically in the chicago the national this upstairs spot wasn't really open. It was more for like the signers and the celebs to come in here and sign and stuff. Cause uh, I was here, I was just taking a break last year for for the national and I was chilling right here. And then Ellen Iverson just walked by me. I was like, yo, what's up AI? It was kind of cool. But yeah. All right guys, so we made it here into the venue. Too early, a lot of vendors are still setting up, but Let's see how it goes. And here's the autograph pavilion. Guys, first pickup of the weekend Pokemon cards. Charizards are always cool. 200 bucks for the pair. Oh, look at all these brand new jerseys.
I bought a Angels jersey from them at the National. It was pretty cool. Got the Brady here. The show reminds me of the National. I mean, obviously it's the same venue, but the vibe is like a tiny National. Or at least this area because it's like a lot of vintage and of course I'm sure a lot of these vendors here set up at the national as well. So I get what people mean when they say this is more of like a vintage show. A lot of vintage as we looking right now I don't know if they organized it like the national how they have like sections like vintage modern newcomer TCG and stuff like that but a lot of vintage around here I need to get into vintage or I need to learn more about it but as of right now vintage is like baseball and they only pick up like five guys just like the really big name guys. Got some presidential autographs too. That's cool. Check it out. How you doing, sir? Good. see this often. Chicks. Jimmy Carter. Nixon. Guys, so a few pickups so far. Uh, mostly Pokemon as right now. Got a good amount of Pokemon and people were willing to deal with the Pokemon stuff. Me and my first sport pickup. Got some football for decent price compared to what it used to be so we take a risk on it you know so let's try to pick up some more sport cards because we are at a sport card show and see what happens Got some comic books here as well. Pretty cool. It's nice to have a little bit of everything. I've seen a good amount of Pokemon here as well. Most of my deals are Pokemon. I think I made like 10 deals and like 7 of them are probably Pokemon deals. Alright, the show's been pretty decent so far. It's actually a pretty big venue. So it's, it's a little bit of walk. It's a little bit of work to walk around. You know, it's like good to have a table. You get to sell cars for a little bit more and get better percentage when you buy cards but it's just like fishing like i've been saying you just gotta sit there your anchor down you can't really do much you sit there and you gotta put out the bait and hopefully the fishes come walking is fun if you're an active person if you like hunting if you're a hunter walk around you can find amazing gems deals it's it's an adventure but you gotta put in the work you gotta train you gotta be motivated you gotta keep going and it will hurt your legs <laughs> because i've been walking for like three hours <laughs> i'm starting to feel in my legs i'm getting hungry now uh, i'm probably gonna head across the street to this brazilian steakhouse later i was gonna go there for lunch but they end lunch at two o'clock and it's like three right now and they don't open for dinner till five so i gotta wait like three more hours or whatever until i can go eat 
it's been good it's been good if you guys walk at shows I recommend bring some cars to sell don't bring like too many don't bring like a thousand cars just bring like 10 of your biggest cars or cars that you really need to move out of it go hold it in your hand or something and go up to Venice be like hey would you trade or would you be interested in these and try and move it to something else and if you guys do that I do recommend staying hydrated drink a lot of water um, and wear really comfortable shoes which I need to take my own advice on I just flew here checked in my hotel and ran right across the street over here so I didn't have a chance to go to a convenience store to get some water that's like one of the hardest thing about traveling you know you can't really there's not there's no convenience stores around here so I'm dehydrated <laughs> Crowd's coming. So it's about 3.30 right now, and I guess they're starting to let general admissions and stuff come in. I guess I do have the badge, so here's the badge. It's what the badge looks like, schedule. Yep, general admission, 3.30. It's about 4.30 now, and I'm gonna he head out, go back to the hotel, and put my stuff down there, then go get some food, because I am starving. I think I put in like a thousand steps already, plus spent over $5,000, and 3000 was all on Pokemon, which I don't mind. Uh, they are... Pokemon is pretty consistent. They're not like, they don't really drop as fast as like sport cars. Like, they're not gonna go like Zion, Williamson, Prism, PSA 10s. They're not gonna go from $1,000 to 50 bucks uh, in like a year or something. You know, it just doesn't really happen like that. I mean, they do drop in price, but they don't drop that drastically. But they are a little bit slower to move because just because I just go to more sports shows and you know the Pokemon market is probably like 10-15% of like the populations that I like sports shows. So I mean it's that's actually pretty good for sports shows. But yeah, we got call it, rest up, save some energy, we got two more days left. Let's go get dinner. Got some appetizers. Gotta watch out for these breads though, they're so good. Get food super fast. So they come with a whole bunch of meats to your table and they swarm you with a whole bunch of food. Which is pretty cool. These are my absolute favorites. If you know your name, and chops is where it's at. Alright guys, just got done eating Fogo de Gel. Delicious. Very expensive. <laughs> it was like a hundred bucks, but it was worth it. Now, if you go to a steakhouse, you order one steak, it's like a hundred dollars already. So this is unlimited food. You're like very stuffed. Service nice too. So I think it's worth it. But we're gonna walk off some of these calories. Uh, heading to this mall in here. They have like a little outlet mall area across the street here. Don't go check it out walk around check it out but the most important thing is, is they have a 7-eleven in here and you get some water stay hydrated thank you so much for watching my videos and please if you haven't yet subscribe to my youtube channel like and comment down below it will really help my channel grow thank you so much and please stay tuned for part two of this series see you in the next video